I think the key has been to start every restaurant with a sharp point of view. So we go into each restaurant knowing what it is we're trying to say. It's, it's like writing a story. But, but then here's where it's different from a story. It's a highly interactive experience. And so the people who come to the restaurant may like part of your original point of view, but they may want you to do things a little bit differently. And so then it really becomes an ongoing dialogue where you're listening to how the people who like your restaurant would like it even more if only you shifted a little bit. And so you're having a dialogue with your guests, you're having a dialogue with your staff. I think it's really important to keep the staff as engaged as possible because at the end of the day, the restaurant itself is an inanimate object and it's the human beings who work there that are the reason that people like you either want to come back or not. And there's a fine line, you know, I'm knocking on wood right now, but in 24 years, I've never had the experience of closing a restaurant. And the, 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 the real fine line is that you've, you've got to give people enough of the things they returned for, but you've got to give people enough new things so they'll come back as well. And if you take away all the reasons that they came, that they came back, they may not want to return, but if you don't change things, they may not want to return. So there's the art. What any of the new media is, is actually very old, which is that, that it's human nature to want to recommend things to, to people you like and to want to denigrate things to people you like that, that you didn't like. I think that's, that's always been human nature. We used to call it word of mouth. Now it's word of Yelp or word of Twitter or, or whatever. And so it's really not a new thing. But I think that, that anyone who has any kind of a business who's not paying attention to what the world or what their customers are saying is, is making a mistake. Now, it's, it's equally important that if you're a radio, you want to have antenna that are sharp enough to pick up the stuff that's out there. But if, if your antenna are so sensitive that they pick up everything, you're going to pick up static as well that may not be particularly useful. So it's such a critical thing to learn to tune in the constructive stuff and tune out the stuff that's just hurtful. The restaurant will be 11 years old uh, this year. And uh, I think the secret of any restaurant is you've just got to stick at it. You've got to stick to the things that you believe in, and you've got to listen really carefully. In the case of 11 Madison Park, we listened very, very carefully. And we realized that our early point of view wasn't necessarily on the money. Rather than people using it when we first opened it as a brasserie, which is pretty much what I had envisioned it as, they said, in, instead of saying this is the best brasserie food I've ever had in my life, which it, it would have been if they wanted to use it as a brasserie, they said, this food doesn't seem to be stacking up against this gorgeous decor. And so in order to make 11 Madison Park into a restaurant that could fulfill its greatest potential, we had to not only listen to our guests, but we had to listen to the architecture because the architecture, the bones of that building are not going to change. It's a gorgeous, beautiful space with, you know, light streaming in. And so I feel like we finally gave the space, the restaurant, it deserved.